hi guys assalamu alaikum welcome to or welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be me talking about how i for the for the rest of my life i will be flexing how i got an a star in chemistry arabic maths for the maths basically i'm gonna start 40 levels so all the tips and tricks all the advice can i just say there is absolutely no point in you watching this video and thinking purely you're going to watch this video and you're just magically going to get eight stars. No, you watch this video and you apply what I say and you be proactive with your learning. That's based on my own experience with my subjects. Hopefully this does help. If you do like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media. Also, I wanted to say, go on my Etsy store. Uh, I have made digital notes for A-level chemistry. I haven't made them for all topics, but I've made for as many topics as possible. If you're also interested in a personal statement guide, that will also be my Etsy store in the description box down below. So have a check with that. Everything is digital, so just easy, like, transfer of PDF. So detailed notes. They're all, like, separate bundles. A lot of them have, like, questions, answers, very interactive. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, essentially i had a lot of struggles at a level like i remember when i first started sixth form like i really struggled to settle in i really struggled to adjust the level of difficulty especially from gcse i had a lot of gaps in my knowledge and like i wasn't i especially with maths particularly i really struggled because gcse i kind of struggled a lot in maths as well i worked damn hard to get that eight in gcse maths so it was like when i started a level a lot of the people in the class were like nerds that needed to be humbled i'm not even joking like i humbled a lot of them throughout the years to a normal state sixth form school non-selective just a normal sixth form so yeah the hardest a level i did was further maths i'll say like hardest easiest was further maths maths chemistry arabic but they were all very difficult though don't get me wrong there were times where like in especially in further maths where i would just go blank in lesson because nothing made sense and that's i dealt with that a lot i will say that try your best to pay attention in class i do regret that to be fair but i also say this there is no like magical way to revise i will just say this to you right now gcse and a level you're not going to revise it the same way a level is more application knowledge you need to be practicing questions you need to make sure the content makes sense and you uh understand it you've memorized it you know it and you can apply it in an exam that's what they want simples making posters at a level is not going to get you anywhere um sitting down you know making those pretty posters that you did at gcse and that's it like solely relying on those colorful posters that you're gonna stick on your wall and make it look like you're a smart girl it's not gonna do you anything at your level i'm gonna say this you need dedicated time to study and dedicated time to like relax do your own thing revising your freeze i don't care don't sit down and hang out outside the canteen in your freeze you're gonna get home you're gonna be tired and then you're gonna have to revise at home just revising your freeze and then when you get home you have less work to do your focus apps so i used uh, an app called flora it's a free really nice if you guys want to add me on it there's my code someone who has like a revision timetable or something it just doesn't work with me i'm not somebody who can rev i don't revise at like set times i my sleeping routine is never Actually, in year 13, I just became really tired all the time. Definitely say that. Have I, I at least have a to-do list so you have an idea of what you want. It makes it easy for you to just get work done so you don't have to plan what you study on the day. Just do it the night before so you can just get, like, get straight into the studying. Another thing with revision, just start working. I don't know if you want to do a Pomodoro cycle. Flora is a great app for that. Or you didn't get something in class, make sure you dedicate time and your revision hours to be revising for that, whatever it is that you didn't get. I'm going to say this right now, yeah. Be proactive with your learning. If you don't get it in class, if your teacher's dead, if whatever it is, don't sit there and complain, oh, I didn't get it, oh, my teacher wasn't good, oh, my teacher went on maternity leave. Bro, listen, unis don't care. I'm going to say this straight up, unis do not care. Get a textbook, get, I don't know, you can get them on digital, you can get them used. It takes some initiative, get a textbook, watch some YouTube videos, go and if you can afford to get a tutor, do your class notes in your spare time, go and speak to another member in the de department, go and speak to a teacher in your freeze. Make sure that, that you can never go to a library and borrow a textbook or that you get the concept. Don't just sit there and spend all this, oh, our teacher did nothing, oh yeah. Bro, just be proactive and go and learn yourself if your teachers are useless. You make sure that you get it, like because the thing is, A level, you can't not get it. That's that's not gonna work like that. Like you're go you're gonna really struggle with exams if you don't get it. Obviously, dedicate time to work and dedicate time to doing things that you enjoy. As Muslim people, do not neglect prayer and Quran and Deen for school. It's not worth it. A lot of people say, Oh my God, I don't know how to balance school and salah. It's not deep for you to go at break time or at lunch time and go and pray. Go and pray in your freeze. It's not really that deep. Make sure that you know you're also taking care of yourself better in your deep putting your mental health first really important when you need to rest rest and 
you not understand something please put your hand up in class you feel like you know you've done a mock you flopped it you've uh, revised you've done a past paper you didn't do very well in it make sure you take that and you go and like use that you look at it you reflect on it if you guys saw me during like uh, ramadan particularly I used to always have reflection season on my revision so i will do revision i reflect on it what went well what didn't go well all of that make sure you identify what your weaknesses are and you're taking time and dedicating time to work on them it's so important the majority of the stuff I did use, I will say that my school did make a lot of the resources for us. I mainly relied on what my school gave me, I will say. Chemistry, uh, I had a CGP textbook. You guys will see it in a lot of my thumbnails. It's quite a big, hefty textbook. You can get them online. Um, you can get them a lot cheaper, like secondhand. You can borrow them from libraries. I did pay £20 for mine. I, used, uh, I didn't really use that textbook that much. I used it mainly if I needed to, like get a few questions maybe i don't know i didn't use it that much that was the textbook i had but i didn't really use it i also got a workbook with it as well you know i, I don't know i used the workbook a bit but those questions was physics and maths tutor i used that website called chem sheets as well my teacher sometimes gave it to us i think you do have to pay for it though yeah it was definitely physics and maths tutor it was a huge thing i love all of the past papers so i didn't do any other examples i mainly did the ocr papers i did all the new spec ones and then did all the old spec ones I didn't have time to do other examples so i kind of just focused on my one so i did aqa maths um, uh, I did OCR by the way, chemistry, I did AQA maths. I heavily relied on these textbooks, even though they are at Excel textbooks, maths is maths. The only difference really was just the statistics was a little bit different and the larger data set is different, but the maths is, the mechanics pure and most of the stats is the same. Just made us booklets. So the, the booklets include questions in them and answers. Physics and maths tutor has good questions for chemistry, uh, for maths as well. I think that was really it for maths. I just the, did a fact on the questions, loads of past papers. Uh, I did past papers across all examples boards obviously did the aqa ones first and then did the excel i did a few ocr did the old, i don't like the old spec maths ones i just mainly did rely on the new spec and very varied examples and um, further maths uh, basically the same thing except uh, further maths i use the textbook a lot uh, the my our teachers used to collate old old spec questions and put them in the resources for us so i use their teachers resources a lot uh, that textbook is amazing by the way it has everything in it they are also those textbooks with those Pearson ones they have past papers at the back of them so they are a good extra source of past papers if you want to practice them they're actually really good and i did use them a lot i mainly use past papers for chem uh, for further maths ed excel makes topic tests as well actually used it mainly for fm2 um because i kind of ran out of stuff for it but yeah like the textbook has a lot of questions for my further maths arabic my teachers also gave me stuff i can't lie there's not much resources for arabic so my teacher actually made them for us old spec papers because i was in the first year for the arabic a level for the new spec so um i used all spec papers for translation but the teachers the teacher kind of made me stuff for me to use really it's at a level i don't like it it's my opinion it, this obviously varies on your subject i'm just gonna say to you solely making notes at a level making those pretty posters or making spending hours making flashcards and all that it's getting you nowhere annotating the specification all of that it's getting you nowhere I say to you right now if you want to make notes do you i'm just gonna say to you if you're gonna at least try and make them as you're going along the course so for example if today we did i don't know a lesson on like electrophilic addition make their notes on that day like when you get home so then it doesn't pile up and it takes too long at least try and make them for memory it definitely makes it a bit more effective i just don't like them i don't i don't make i i've made notes at a level but i don't make them in my revision time i spend my revision time blurting consolidating practicing questions and all that but notes i don't think they should be revision especially if they're very passive not be your main source of revision because i've had so many people at a level do exactly what they did at gcse summarizing a textbook or summarizing your teacher's notes or summarizing a booklet is not going to get you anywhere you need to be making sure that the info is getting in your head and it and it's starting to, and it makes sense that's what is really important with information to memorize information so essentially what i like to do is a lot of blurting we did it in high school i used to do it so much in year 11 it's called rambam where you were this has helped us memorize information it's very rote but um i think it's a bit time consuming but i think it's decent it does a good job you would read the information for a minute and then put it down everything you remember in a minute it's very useful i think for like biology psychology very content heavy subjects it didn't do many content heavy subjects chemistry i don't think was content heavy in my opinion a lot of blurting a lot so like i'll 
for example i'll just blur a lot of things from memory so like at the start of a revision session i will blur as much as i can about definitions mechanisms um whatever for memory and that helped me a lot so just blurt it on a whiteboard if you're trying to learn like a reagents for reactions or that it works for like any subject really if you have a bunch of flashcards that you want to learn the information on the thing that helped me actually was talking about it to a friend so explaining a concept to a friend and really i used to revise very independently but if i ever saw somebody and i could explain it to them i would do that this visual association so having um i don't know a certain or I don't know, a certain fact or a certain word in a sentence associated with a colour, associated with something funny. If you have acronyms, are really good. If you, I use them a lot in chemistry. Just linking something to something memorable, something funny, really useful. Uh, do not do past papers yet if you don't understand the content because you're going to struggle. Like, if you don't know any mechanism in A-level chemistry, what's the point of doing a pa an organic past paper? You're not going to do well in it. So then don't do not do that to yourself. And plus past papers are actually limited resources. There's an infinite amount of past papers. So you want to be smart of how you use them. I think, in my opinion, I think it's important to start off with topic tests, a few textbook questions. Make sure you're marking them and you're seeing where your problems lie. And then work on that build from there. And what I used to just do about throughout like year 12 and year 13, I did a lot of topic tests. And then towards the end of the year when I'd finished like all the content for that year, and then I'd do like an AS paper, an A2 paper. You get what I mean? So uh, an AS paper, the four A-level papers. Those per topic tests, make sure you're marking them. So you know you're working, you're reflecting on where you went wrong and applying that into your next session of revision. Start off open book if you want to familiarize yourself with concepts, look at a worked example and then practice a question. All of that, that's okay, but don't solely rely on that. You need to be practicing time conditions, closed book. I used to use Flora to have a timer and just did it like that. Make sure you're learning to read questions properly, not make silly mistakes. And one thing that helped me a lot was having highlighters in exams. Because when you're in a stressful time situation, colour attracts my attention to words. An exam in the morning when I'm like not, I haven't slept very well or I'm a bit stressed out. Colour attracting my attention to words definitely helped me like not miss keywords and make silly mistakes. You know, if you do have essays, you do make a little plan before you write something. Don't just launch into it. question is like a bit long. Make sure you identify compounds I to Z. Um, the right reactions for the formation state the colors of the ions and also um explain why blah 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 i what i used to do is highlight one of them at a time and tick them every time i did each one of those tick calculate the number of moles of whatever formed make sure you tick each one as you go along so you don't miss any points and miss any marks i'm planning not to rush a lot like obviously work at a decent pace but don't rush that's why practicing closed book and learning to read questions properly is a very important thing and i did that three months before my a-level exams i spent three months learning how to read questions properly this is your spec first like for example like arabic a-level i used to practice so many old spec papers um i did the new one first and then did the old ones especially for like translations and stuff like that i just want to see the amount of exam practice i did for my a-levels is mental 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 i'm not joking you need to put the hours in to do well at a-level there's no two ways about it so i've got a level on here and here's let's say we'll do chemistry so here's a bit of stuff here have a look at let's say inorganic and physical inorganic and physical is where the, the stuff is all of this by the way this is not just it I did this, I did all of these past papers, every single one of these, new spec, old spec, not just it. I did a lot of the paper stuff, which obviously I threw in the bin because I don't want it. Uh, this is this is just inorganic and physical. So yeah, as you can see, you need to put some work in to do well at your level. It's not, you can't solely rely on attending session, lessons and that's it. Reflection, reflection, reflection is so important. At the end of every single revision session, you do, and I've said it 10 times in this video, you need to reflect. You need to see where you went wrong, what what you're scoring in your past papers why you're not doing well and if you let's say did a paper on physical chemistry and you've noticed that you're doing really bad in acids bases and buffers and enthalpy lattice enthalpy go and revise those topics and get better at it so then when you do another past paper for me i literally spent the two months before a levels revising physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry like a madman i'm not even joking i that i was i was good at organic so i spent most of my time doing physical and inorganic i did every single paper from 2010 to 2022 2021 and i nailed it so then i can do well in my real a level that's the whole point in this you need to you need to make progress if you're flopping your marks why are you flopping your marks reflect 
So when you do a revision session, what went well, what went well, what didn't go well, why do you think it didn't go well, what do you think I should do for the next session, what do you think needs more work on? Hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media so I can reach and famous. And I hope that this did help. And good luck to anyone sitting at A levels. Inshallah, you guys do amazing. And you know, like I said, you do need to take a bit of initiative with your learning. Please don't just sit there and complain. A levels are hard. I struggled a lot at A level. It wasn't like easy. I just didn't show my emotional side during A level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys another time.